There's been a huge ethical debate for a long time around research involving human embryos. We've talked about this. The religious right doesn't like it. There's been debates around the morality of customizing human embryos. If that becomes a real thing in the future, blockbuster being reported in nature magazine that Chinese scientists have reported editing the genomes of human embryos. The results are published in the online journal protein and cell and they confirm rumors that these experiments were being conducted. There's a paper in which researchers led by Jinju Huang, a gene function researcher at Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou, tried to head off some of the ethical concerns by only doing the research with non-viable embryos. Non-viable embryos cannot result in a live human birth. They were obtained from local fertility clinics clinics. And what did they do? Uh, the team modified the gene responsible for a potentially fatal blood disorder using a gene editing technique known as CRISPR Cas9. And the researchers say that their results actually revealed some pretty serious obstacles to applying this in regular medical applications. So this is so fascinating, Lewis. It's fascinating, number one, because we've been wondering what could be done with this type of technology. It's um, uh, uh, striking number two, because we now know it's actually going to be far more difficult than what many people imagined, because it didn't work with many of the attempts that they made. It did work with some. And number three, it brings up a whole new range now of ethical concerns because it's becoming at least somewhat clear that even if it's going to be a tough technology to really perfect, this is a thing. Oh, it's a thing. This is the future. I mean, eventually, those who can afford it are going to have completely customizable children uh, and perhaps clones, you name it. Uh, it. It's it's going to happen. And there's going to be a lot of opposition and it's going to be a, a class thing eventually, I think. Um, but that's the future. It's, and there's, I don't think and there's, there's any two way different, to avoid there's two different debates around it. One is the are embryos people debate, which is there's a group of people who believe that embryos are are people in the sense that 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 you and I, Lewis, are people and that our audience is made up of people and some who believe that because of that, there should be no research at all do, done on human embryos. That's more of the religious component of the controversy. The other side of it is just around the ethics and morals of this potential to customize an embryo and to birth a child that has super intelligence or is predisposed to have uh, particular physical traits that might be interesting with regard to physical abilities, for example, or stuff like that. The highest priorities I would imagine would be eradicating predispositions to certain diseases. That would be for me the, 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 the most interesting element of this. Uh, yeah. But but there's no question that this kind of custom baby build a baby thing is also going to be a very uh, a compelling thing if the technology allows for it. Yeah, uh, and I think the like you said, the first step is is health, and that is going to be that's without a doubt going to be the first step. But the big money is going to be in having completely customizable babies. Huge. Can you just imagine the amount of money that could go there that billionaires would pay to customize a child? I mean, it's just it, it's it's incredible what this would do in terms of a potential business industry. Send me your thoughts on this.